It's an exciting day because I'm gonna go to the thrift store today. You guys know how much I love going to the thrift store. It's a treasure hunt. And I often get told like, wow, your thrift stores are so great. Mine are awful. I have a great solution for you. You can shop online at ThreadUp. ThreadUp is sponsoring today's video. You guys know how much I love ThreadUp. I make an order from them, maybe a little too often. So huge thanks to them for sponsoring me and thank you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. You're in for a real treat. This is just one of the boxes that I got. And this is the other mamma jamma. It's full of so much, it's overflowing. ThreadUp is an online thrift store and consignment shop. So if you have new goals this new year to save money and save the planet and look more fashionable, ThreadUp has you covered. Checks off all of the boxes. If you want new clothes for the gym or your new fitness and health goals, I get the majority of my workout clothes from ThreadUp because they have such a wide selection to choose from. They have really affordable prices, so it saves me a ton of money, and they have really quality high-end brands. So I know what I'm getting is quality, and it's going to last me for a very long time. I actually started going to the gym today, and this was my workout outfit. I got this top from ThreadUp, and it was like nine bucks. And it's Fabletics, and that's a pricey brand. I also grabbed these flats because ThreadUp has more than just clothes. They have shoes, they have handbags. I got a few items for my kids this time around. It's especially great for my 13 year old who's like into the name brands, Nike and Lululemon. They have all of that for her. So these black mules, the estimated retail cost is $38 because they are loft. I got them for $6.72. I paired them because I've been looking on my Pinterest board. I paired them with these pants that I got from Everlane. Oh, 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 they're so dang adorable. And this really sweet, like semi-cropped black top that's made well. It feels quality. I also snagged another pair of shoes. These are just really cute black flats, but the brand is J. Crew, so you know that's like a higher end brand. The estimated retail price of these are $105, but I got them for $13. Screaming deals all around, and I took a lot of inspiration from my Pinterest board this time around while I was trying to go through the ThreadUp website and look for items. And I was going for more of like a classy look, more of like quiet luxury, if you will, just like basic pieces. Sometimes I tend to just wear pink all the time or like bright colors, which, oh my gosh, I've gotten a ton of questions. Where did you get that cardigan? Well, let me tell you, thread up, of course. I've been wearing this cardigan a lot, obviously, because I love it. And I've gotten so many compliments on it because it's amazing. I got some blue tank tops here. This one's Fabletics. This one is Athletica. This one's Athletica. And it's new with tags. I find so many new with tags things. I've got Old Navy tank tops in there. My workout clothes selection is like through the, I'm gonna be the most fashionable lady working out. I might be fighting for my life while I get back in shape, but I'm gonna look good while I'm doing it. So this is estimated retail value, $49, but I got it from ThreadUp for $12. This is an Old Navy tank top, new with tags. And then for my kiddos, oh my gosh, anyone else really into sequins. Taylor Swift who? I should have searched for this in my size. This is for Eleanor, obviously. The brand is Roebuck & Co. and the estimated retail value is $55, but I got it for 10 from ThreadUp. And then it's winter time here in Florida. If it reaches below 60 degrees, it is freezing. So I found her this Michael Kors coat. I got this Nike tank for my teenager for $11.99. The estimated retail value of this is 35 bucks. I got a Spider-Man shirt for the little guy. They have so many things to choose from, women and kids. I'm currently searching for a purse. <laughs> Do I need another one? Questionable. But if you are looking to find some really amazing thrifted gems, I would encourage you to check out ThreadUp. You can use my code and the link in the description box below to get 40% off of your first order and free shipping. Check them out. I bet you're gonna find some amazing deals. And they have deals on the website too. So if this isn't your first time ordering, check them out because you know you're gonna find some amazing stuff. And they have a really cool feature now so I can link my favorites and you can shop my favorites. I always find some really awesome stuff. So 40% off, 
Use my link in the description box below and we're gonna head to the thrift store now to see what else we can find. Finally made it here. It's starting to rain. I gotta get inside. Organizing items like that Trofast bin I found last time. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Alex needs an upgrade on his wardrobe a little bit. Um, the kids are needing some nice heavy winter coats. They're going up north for a little bit. So I, that... Let's just see what we can find. You never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store. It's always a treasure hunt. Let's go. Last time I came, I found a really beautiful piece of furniture for a really affordable cost, but it was sold. It had a sold stick. Oh no, this is it. This is it, really beautiful. You guys, they sold it. It's been here forever. It's been here forever. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask if it's still on hold. I wonder if someone just, I can get a piece of paper like that and tape it. Didn't know what I mean. I'm gonna ask about this because I have a feeling it's been over the amount of days. This is expensive, brand new, and I'm in the market for something like this for the upstairs bathroom. I don't know, now that I'm saying it out loud, maybe I only want it because I can't have it. Hey, I'm getting an office soon, so maybe some office chairs. Check these guys out. Ooh, we have to find out what color tag is on sale. I'm always very forgetful when it comes to that. Actually, I love this chair. Look how amazing that is for 35 bucks. And then this piece over here, it's like a kitchen island with a little bookcase on the side. Not that I need shoes, but like I could use a pair of shoes, especially if they are bright pink. These are pretty funky too. I actually love these. They're the brand Hush Puppies. Like how funny, I didn't even know. $15 and these are Uggs. I'm like what? Look how beautiful these are. White Mountain and they're $15. I really need to figure out what color is on sale. They have such a wide selection. How can I not look at the shoes? They also always have a ton of Crocs here. I feel like my kids really like Crocs. Ooh, these are really nice too. Ooh, some house shoes. I got my favorite house shoes here a while ago and they have cats on them and they were basically brand new. Lots of white shoes too. This is where Avelina found a pair of her Nikes, um, basically brand new and Converse too. Ooh, I'm actually in the market for some kits. Those look nice and comfy and easy to slip on, a nice everyday kick. I just found these, it's literally chaos in this aisle. Love me, great for Valentine's Day. A little needy if you ask me. I had to get out of there, no one's ever by the books. I found this whole 30 cookbook. Um, I normally look in the kids book section. This was just shoved in here. They have a whole cookbook section, only $3. At one point, this was in my Amazon cart. <laughs> Maybe if I say it out loud, I'll remember. Red, white, green, yellow. Red is 25, the rest are 50. White, green, yellow. Okay, I bet you we won't find any white, green, or yellow tags. I'm in the summer dress section. I feel like I'm gonna find a Lily Pulitzer here. Not that I even need to look for clothes for myself, but this w beauty was poking out and I was like, oh dang, a white tag? Yeah, it better be half off. My gosh, it's Ann Taylor and it's missing a little jawstring. Otherwise, I think this would be perfect for like an Easter dress. Is it new with tag? Get the heck out, 150 bucks. Well, now I guess I gotta try it on, right? I think maybe this is like their prom dress aisle and I was confused thinking it was summertime. I really just came down here because there wasn't anyone <laughs> down here. It's one of the only aisles. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. That looks nice. Universal thread. Is blue tag on sale? <laughs> no, but white tag is. This is a Calvin Klein number. It's beautiful. Oh, you know what? I wanted to look for a red coat. Hold on, should I? Okay, let's do it. I saw this out of the corner of my eye giving Taylor Swift vibes. Oh my heck, this color. I'm about to grab it. Where the heck am I gonna wear that? Absolutely nowhere. And it comes, it still has the belt. A red tag, oh, look how beautiful. A Tony Petite, because I'm just so petite. Ooh, this is a nice robe. I was just making my way to the coats and what does my wandering eye see? A lily. It's a size zero, unfortunately. But it's blue tag, isn't blue tag on sale? <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. I'm taking the long way to the coats, okay? Check this out. This looks like a vintage number with the puffy sleeves and everything. Can we just have a Golden Girls sleepover already? Like, I'm ready for it. Are you joking? Look at these gems. Check this one out. This, oh, this looks like a gem and a half. True vintage polka dots. Yes, I love the polka dots. Ooh, and actually I heard that animal print is coming back in. Ooh, this is from Loft. And it's white tag. Isn't white tag on sale? Normally $87, is that a joke? 
It's not five bucks? Cause man, I feel like a woman. Why am I putting this in the cart? Somebody stop me, you know what I mean? Actually, prints like this, I'm not joking. I heard they're coming back in, like this one. Man, I feel like a woman, chinko woman. What else is here? A lot of brown. I don't think brown is my color. This is gorgeous though. $8? Mmm. Where are we going? Where can I wear this? Date night? Why am I adding it to my cart? I gotta get out of here. Ooh. Oh, this is a beautiful, the Santa Claus jacket. You know what I mean? Hey, look, a menu. Oh my gosh, that's actually hilarious. Not big enough for Alex, but he would certainly wear that. Ooh, hey, I didn't make it to the coat aisle, but I found a red coat. This is what actually caught my eye. You know, I haven't looked at two piece sets in a while. Didn't I say I was gonna come in here? I love this. Size three, what does that mean? Why do I love this so much? Okay, in the cart. I told you I was gonna look at like organizing stuff. These feel really nice. Josephine Schaus, look at this. We got a whole fit right here. You don't even have to do much work. Fashion coordinator, does anyone need one? I am available. This is stuff that they're still putting out, but I love the hot pink color. You know, I'm attracted to it. Those definitely don't look like my size, but they are Lululemon. It's always hard for me to figure out how to look for the size tag in Lululemon. I can never find it. I just always have to try it on. I might just be an idiot though. That looks really nice. Are we ready for springtime? No, I am busy looking for outerwear. This is like the new trendy thing, like a trench coat like this. This is actually beautiful and it's Kenneth Cole. Oh my gosh, $13. Ooh, Buccaneers, go buy $30 for that? Why, somebody explain. It's pretty funny. I can dig it. H&M, Charles Klein. Ooh, guess, this one's really pretty too. I like the shape of this one. Ann Taylor, not that I need a coat, literally. It will be cold for like three more days here. <laughs> I'm living it up. Oh, is this a two piece? No, it looked like it for a second. I actually love this one. It has a really nice color to it. It's not my size, but an oversized look is totally in. I really love this. I think I'm a colors gal. I'm trying to do that neutral life, but I just don't think it's choosing me. So many gorgeous pieces though here. Ooh, that's a nice little sweater. These are some really, really nice coats. Ooh, this is the one that caught my eye. Look how pretty, $30. This is loft. Mm -hmm. I found some good ones, but someone is shopping down there. So I'll show them to you in just a moment. Just wanted to browse this section. Who doesn't need more color in their life, you know? Ooh, Columbia. New Balance, I didn't even know they made jackets. That's really cute. I like the color. I see a lot of Columbia here. Okay, made it to the red. Time to really deep dive. I, oh my gosh, this is true vintage Land's End. It's not my size, but I feel like vintage sizes are not the same as 2024 sizes. And that's like the grandpa jacket of my dreams. This is actually gorgeous very similar to what I'm looking for. This is not my size either because I'm just so petite. But I love this. I love that the buttons are also red. I see a lot of red coats with like stark black buttons and that's just not my thing. I actually really like this one too. Love the deep purple. Ooh, see with the black buttons. I mean, gorgeous. And it's a white tag. Somebody please come buy this. It's gorgeous. This is pretty too, just a little shorter than what I'm looking for. Not that I need a jacket. This one's really nice. It's Talbot's. Oh, it's Talbot Petite because I'm just so petite. Oh, this is really nice too. You know what got me is I was looking, I was watching someone and then they found a red jacket. So I started Googling red jackets and I found this woman and she was wearing a red jacket. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to be that woman. You know what I mean? I love this bright orange color too. This is J. Crew, gorgeous. And now I'm just obsessed with becoming that woman. This looks like the piece of foil that they give you like after you do a marathon run and it's freezing outside <laughs> to keep you warm. <gasps> L.L. Bean for 10 stinking dollars. Oh my gosh, Land's End again. This looks like a quilt and I would wear that for sure every day of my life. Turns out this coat didn't make me feel like the woman across the room, so I did leave it behind, but it was nice and it was cute. I don't, I just wasn't feeling it. Just, I don't need everything. Plus there were like tissues in there. I am forever finding 
tissues. They weren't like used. They were just bundled up for, you know, when you need it. Maybe they were used. I don't know. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> I am always finding tissues specifically in the coat pockets. So that's always a fun surprise. Surprise, surprise. And I got this jacket on fit like a glove. I was like, are you kidding me? Come on. It was made for me. Makes me feel like a great. The zipper was a little bit rusty, but it was giving me the grandpa vibes of my dreams. And so of course, of course, it came home with me. I couldn't leave him behind. <laughs> it is literally so busy here. Beat the crowds and shop thread up. I'm just saying, hey, if you're looking for like a Valentine's Day gift holder, come no further than the wallet section. They have like makeup bags too, but I think this would be like a multi-purpose gift holder. Are these Nike? Is it meant to be that I came down here? Oh my gosh, purple? Is red tag on sale? I will say I have found that a Nike medium is smaller than like a normal medium for me. I don't know why, but I'm just gravitated toward the pinks and stuff. Four panels. Where can I put these? <laughs> they have so many really nice pillows too. I mean, these things are like $25 at Home Goods. Oh my heck, look, it's Snow White. Questionable movie. I'm just gonna throw that out there. A Valentine's Day pillow? Right now they're selling these Buko books all around town. We've got Minnie Mouse, a heart-shaped purple pillow. I mean, come on. $6 is red tag on sale. I'm asking genuinely because I always forget. I like this pillow. Is this an outdoor pillow? It's new with tags. Vineyard Vines? Come on, you guys, $25. And they want to sell it for $10. i am pretty sure Blue Tag is on sale. <laughs> If there were two of those, I think I would really think about it a little more. I'm trying to redo my bed. Are these nice for my bed? A little too green. Maybe. Ooh, should we go full lake house and get the anchor? <laughs> Somebody talk me out of it. Wait, what is this? I have to know. A snowflake. I didn't actually have to know. Pillow pet. Ooh, we could go full lake house and get a whale. All right, somebody get me out of here. <gasps> Just kidding. Somebody made this female icons. Not female, but deserves an appearance. He donated this. Unreal. That's not fair. These are female icons. This is the gem of the day. This is the find of the day. That's actually a great Christmas gift if you're thinking of one. <laughs> Christmas, Valentine's Day, whatever. They have pillows over here. Ooh, actually these are like really nice. An ottoman kind of thing, you know? You like sit on it. It's a little footstool or a seat. Is this a door stopper? Oh my gosh, I love her so dang much. She's got glasses. <laughs> Somebody take her home. She's so sweet. My kids would ruin her. So I'm trying to be on my way to the organizing stuff, but I just keep getting distracted. It's not my fault. Three pairs of shoes, brand new sho socks, I mean, for $3. Oh my gosh, are these toe socks? Wow. Avenger socks? Oh no, it's a cat. Cat Dracula. That's so funny. Oh, comfy, cozy socks. Oh, she's stalking the socks. I thought she was shopping. Wait, put them in the cart. Come on, my kids literally fight over these. All right, what else we got? What else we got? I have found so many beautiful handmade quilts here, and it just breaks my heart that they're at the thrift store. So many of these are homemade, but the quilted ones, I think it's crochet, knit, whatever the heck it's called. Look, Valentine's Day, blank. Oh no, it's, it says joy. This one says Valentine's doesn't actually say it. It just has a bunch of hearts on it. If you're putting together a lover basket, whatever the heck the teens are calling it, you know, it was like a boo basket, then a burr basket for Christmas and the burr months. And now it's Valentine's Day. They're calling it something, but I totally forgot. This is what I'm talking about. These. Can you imagine how much time and effort that took somebody to make this? Like what? This is so rad. This one too looks like a baby blanket. This looks gorgeous. This looks like a scarf. Even just this, I could never, I don't have the talent. And for $5, this one too, a lot of like 70s colors in there. I'm loving it. Give it all to me. Is this an Afghan? Because yes, yes please and thank you. I actually love the color of this too. Give it as a gift. Pretend you made it, I don't care. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. You know, they put it all the way in the back of the store and then expect me not to shop along the way. So this is gorgeous for $35. The aura on top is nice too, totally giving Lake House. 
Uh, sad to report, I don't see any Trofast systems. I'm trying to organize my under the stair storage and I have a whole vision in mind, but I really don't want to put together the pieces. Stop it right the heck. This second, I've actually been looking for a mirror like this. Oh, is it broken? Maybe it just needs to be tightened. This is, I mean, oh my heck. I would paint it. Is blue tag on sale? This is so gorgeous, $35. In my future bedroom, you guys. And actually, Avelina has been asking me to organize her shoes like I did Wentworth's. Hey, look, I can buy this and I don't have to put it together. Oh, thank you so much. I love older furniture pieces. I'm really wondering if I would paint this or not like obviously the intention would be there but would i do it also is it broken <laughs> i love it i love it so much all right i tightened the knob and it's perfectly perfect it just needs a little sanding isn't she lovely they always have a ton of ton of doll houses too like this barbie dream house <gasps> a little um not poker table what is that where you shoot the balls what is that called? I don't even know. Hey, do you want to play pool? That's what it's called, pool. <laughs> Little kitchen. You know what I'm looking for? Like a play sink that actually has water in it. I would love to find one of those. I, You know, a couple years ago, everyone was buying them. I'm sure they're gonna end up at the thrift store at some point, like this kitchen. Even something like this to organize. Oh, look, a little tabletop easel. That's so sweet. Is that the second oar? Mat two matching oars. Somebody get on over here to buy it up. Remember I showed you those pink chairs from Home Goods a while ago? Like, what? I need an actual office chair, like a desk chair. I love that. I love it. I actually really like this one too. Is that a plant stand? Ooh, suitcases. We are going on a trip. Are you going on a trip? Summer's right around the corner. Ooh, this one has Mickey Mouse embroidered on it. That's fun. The things in the boxes keep your eyes peeled for those like really do some investigating because you can find some really amazing pieces what is this a deluxe cat home that's what that is what's down here i don't know and it's just so easy to overlook because it's you know kind of challenging to figure out what the heck is in there a bench like a really nice iron bench if i was in the market for a bench i'd be like hey uh. a bunch of fans too and air purifiers it's like Costco Who is trying to sell all the fans and air purifiers. Come on over to the thrift store. They also have this little itty bitty fireplace, like faux fireplace. Looks so dang cute. It even has the remote still. I love that. Oh, is this one of those like, oh my gosh, it's a baby scale. I had to talk myself out of getting one of these with Wolfgang because it, it was a big thing with his weight. I didn't talk about it because it like stressed me out to that level, I couldn't even, but I um, almost got a changing table with a weight attached and then I just knew that it would drive me up the wall crazy. Can we just make a pact to start putting pictures on all of the boxes so when we're thrifting, we know what the heck is inside? All these boxes, I saw, what's her name, Natalie? Ooh, this is JCPenney home. She thrifted essentially a brand new computer chair from Ikea four pennies on the dollar just insane so now i'm looking at all the boxes look at this an organizer cube a tree stand i'll never know what's in the rest of them because i just don't have the patience <gasps> what is this a power washer 2000 psi feels a little light it's the new year are you getting toned some yoga blocks over here for five bucks this brand is pricey too oh is it just one yoga block couple fitness balls they must have known i was coming oh does, is it supposed to light up let's see if it still does <laughs> oh my gosh how can I leave this behind? It totally set screams. Me. And then a solar light up here. There, this is what actually caught my eye. Our solar lights are all breaking. Ooh, a happy light up there for $20. Happy lights. That's a big thing, isn't it? All right, I don't think I'm gonna get those, but that's pretty cool. I'll turn this off so it saves battery. I never come in this section, but Alex inspired me. We came on a date night. It was like one pit stop on a date night and he found a whole projector screen and the tripod for it. It was insane. Some of the artwork always amazes me too. Newspaper clipping of the journal, Prince George's journal. Check this out too. Like, first of all, this is massive. Second of all, it's like 3D made from paper, definitely handmade. Even if you're just coming here looking to buy a frame or something, or even a canvas to paint over, it's the most affordable way. I feel like I almost bought these prints for my dining room. I don't even know if I shared it with you. 
I don't know if it was the print or if I found it at the vintage shop, but this, I love these. They're so dang cute. This one's really sweet too. A girl just trying to sneak a cookie. Hashtag relatable. Oh my God. Okay, first I was just gonna show you all of the appliances here. Oh, this is so fun. Check it, hold on, is this a dash? What is on here? It's not a dash, but it's kind of like a dash. It's the Christmas tree. <gasps> Ooh, vintage, I love it. Anyway, nostalgia. I think this is a hot dog and bun machine. I only say that because we got one going around when we had our white elephant party, but this is what I wanted to point at. $25, which I feel like is how much it is at Costco, but I got mine for 50 off of Amazon, the S'mores maker. They also have an instant pot. Ooh, an electric yogurt maker, flickering pumpkin pathway. Wow, snow cone maker up there. A little mini crock pot over there, a couple minis. Ooh, I see a dash and another dash. I'm gonna peek on him. Ooh, boring, ooh, boring. Ooh, crock pot, instant pot. You know what I found the other day when I came with the girls, like I guess a while ago? Cast iron skillies. I think I've really been sleeping on this section of the thrift store. Look at this, a cricket press. How much are they trying to sell it for? This is one of the oh, huge ones for $60. Ooh, a wax kit, pro wax. You guys do that? I'm not at that level. What's this? Probably a foot massager and I'm like touching it. Look at the lamps up there too. See that eagle? I feel like my dad would like that one. Do you guys ever? Oh my gosh, a KiwiCo crate. Light up wire art for $10. Ooh, I think my kids are gonna love that one. Oh my gosh, home phones, GE. I wonder if they still have a good warranty on those. Anyway, have you guys ever said, oh, I like that, and then got it every day for the rest of your life? Is that a lava lamp? And it's green tag. Oh, that is so cool. Anyway, I feel like that's what happened to my dad. He was like, oh yeah, that eagle's pretty cool. And then every day for the rest of his life. Is this a lava lamp, but with glitter? I stink and love this. No, I think my kids would really love that. Do they need it? I don't know, questionable. I'm trying not to get stuff for their new rooms until they actually have a new room. Same for my office, because then otherwise our house would just be bursting with chaos. They have a ton of lamps, look at that. Everyone keeps telling me to put lamps in my bedroom and I just can't. It's one more thing for me to clean and look at and the lighting in my room is great. But if I was in the market for lamps, those would be up there. Oh my gosh, is that an electric guitar? We got Wentworth, an electric guitar for Christmas. This one's $70. I don't know if it's, oh gosh. Oh, a treadmill too. I don't, I think this is like an adult size. Yeah, he has a kid size. What is that, a toilet seat? This exercise machine. A skier's edge powder mogul master. And then a pro form. Get your fitness on. All the, all the workout equipment is here. Can't wait to find a shake weight. Been trying to go to the gym. It's been working out so far. One day in. <laughs> a couple organizers right there too. Ooh, and a laundry basket. Hold on a minute. An ab roller, a simple ab roller. I used to have the whole system, you know? No joke, if you did this every day, you would have abs. But also abs are made in the kitchen. I'm just saying, this is a really nice hamper for six bucks. And not that I need it, but for whatever reason, I'm really drawn to like these little coolers. Good organizing systems here for 13. A little blower, like a toy blower with some other tools in there. That's so adorable. What I was actually looking at was this. Ooh, that's real nice. No, it's Pete the Cat costume. Meredith does this thing at school. It's like living literature and they recite some lines. And one of the books is Pete the Cat but she got the hungry little caterpillar and so i'm looking for like a caterpillar costume that turns into a butterfly it doesn't exist i might have to diy it okay i'm gonna go to the section with that i like i did see a diy and it had like a mini backpack but it was white oh i'm gonna look in the costume the mini backpack was yellow i don't know why i just said white i'm just so distracted by these costumes so i'm gonna look in the costumes maybe they have a hungry caterpillar or a butterfly that I can just roll with. Ooh, a purple little skirt though. And behind me, I hit the jackpot, the snow gear. Hopefully my kids get to see snow and it isn't just freezing cold. I think vests are trendy, so my 13 year old is really into vests. So I gotta pick some colors that I feel like she would like. Ooh, these are really cute too. These are just fashion vests. Ooh, but this one is, Oh my gosh, Eleanor would wear that for sure. It's Zara and also not her size, sad to report. Bowden, I feel like that's a really nice brand. And it's half off and it's white tag. Gosh, she has a lot of coats. This is giving Michael Jackson. Cause I'm bad, I'm bad. Just why are all the winter clothes so adorable? This L.L. Bean sweater to die for. 
It's so cute. Ooh, a Nike jacket with tags, $19. I don't, this might be too big for Wentworth, but I feel like I often underestimate how big he is. Like he's seven, but he, we just measured them the other day. I measure all my kids at the beginning of the year. I don't think they're gonna be skiing, but one of these days, Alex and I wanna take the kids skiing when they're older, you know? It's just hard when you have teeny tiny little ones. I digress. I measure all my kids at the beginning of the year. Oh, this is really nice. Crew cuts. This is a size 10 too. That could be good. So anyway, Wentworth is always like, so he's so tall and Wolfgang is so tall too for his age. It's just a boy thing. I guess Alex is pretty tall. I mean, I'm pretty tall. I'm five nine. <laughs> Wentworth at the age of seven. This is Land's End. I can't get a sentence out. Land's End again, you, you people. These are so good. These are so nice. At the age of seven, Wentworth is as tall as Eleanor was at the age of nine. Nine. Oh, is this PJs? Anyway, so I always think, oh, that won't fit him. That won't fit him. This is another Land's End. What did Land's End dump all their stuff here? Thank you so much. But anyway, I always think another Land's End piece. Stop it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna get that jacket for him. That's the short story long version. All right, I'm gonna go through that again because I was halfway paying attention. Another Land's End piece. <laughs> I just found this, it's a size four. It would fit Meredith. I often do this, like, are they that tall? Are we going to Snowcat Ridge? Because for $8, maybe. Snowcat Ridge is a place near us where they do like fake snow, but it's like a simulation of snow and you're in a big bubble, build snowmen and stuff like that. And so we didn't go this year, but my kids are talking about it. They're like, are we gonna go? I'm like, I wasn't planning on it. This is a whole dang set. I think this is a matching set, like this whole thing and then one of these coats, right? Or maybe this coat. One of them is like the exact same blue. I'm thinking of this one, but it's gonna swamp Eleanor. She's so teeny tiny. She's just so petite. If you want your kids to fight in the car, get them this hangman set. It's really cool. I think it's Melissa and Doug, but these, oh, I thought they flipped over. Oh, they do flip over. Okay, yeah. We used to have this like many, many moons ago. Before my kids were really ready, I think, for hangman. A two bucks? How can I say no to that? All right, what else do we have up here? Children's, learn new words. I'm all about that. Flash card life categories. You can find some really nice things here too in way of learning toys. I find a lot of, oh, what's that one brand? It's like really pricey. Discovery, America, something like that. I'm not even close, I don't think. Lakeshore, I don't even know what this is, but I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Oh, are we learning our vowels? I can build simple words. $5, I'm sure brand new, this was like 40. Found this, so adorable. $4 for Valentine's Day, is this Lily? It is a Lily Pulitzer, it's like velvet. A white tag is half off, isn't it? Or 25% off, something like that? That is gorgeous. It might be too big for Eleanor, but she would love that. This out, Hannah Anderson, set of PJs. I found another one too, Hannah Anderson. Are they? Yeah, I don't, well, may, well, you know what? I don't know. Okay, I really am on my way to the cast iron skillets now, <laughs> maybe. But what I wanted to say, oh, bathing suits. I'm seeing a ton of Christmas decor. When, and actually, it makes sense because when we were putting our Christmas decor away, oh my gosh, Raggedy Ann and Andy. I went through all of it. Oh, 101 Dalmatians. I'd have to get this for one of my cousins. <gasps> Hula life. I'm too distracted to tell the story, you people. When I was going through our holiday bin, putting stuff away, I realized I need to go through this crap because if I didn't put it out, surely I don't need it. I got rid of four bins worth of Christmas decor. Four. Is that a wooden clock? That's actually a really nice clock. They have some really, you know what? Ooh, I'm looking for a cat clock. I saw someone find a cat clock and now I'm kind of obsessed with like a wall cat clock. Haven't been able to find, oh, you know, oh my gosh. This is not the kind I was looking for, but this'll do. Six dollars. It meows, does it meow? With real cat recordings every time. I feel like this is a keeper, right? I don't know if I'm actually gonna get this, but the novelty of this is really funny. They're fake. Well, they feel real. <laughs> For three dollars? Oh my gosh, for you can have them year after year. I didn't know what to do with mine. They died. Are they gonna come back to life? Probably not, you know? Figured I'd show you all the knickknacks that I'm finding. Oh, what's that? 
on the wall. It is a wall clock. Ooh, more clocks. Ooh, I can dig these clocks. Directed again. I haven't even looked at Alex's clothes. How long have I been here? Forever? Check these Reeboks out. Okay. Ooh, parchment paper. Do I need some of this? I don't know. What's this magnetic wine bottle cap opener? Interesting. We were trying to open up the bottles. Ooh, more wax paper. I feel like I could use some of that. We were trying to open up for New Year's, like, you know, the faux champagne, what do they call that? Apple juice, fizzy apple juice. And some of them were really hard to open. Oh, this reminds me, I did a Target shop with me and they have these like Tupperware containers, but this is, I feel like a true vintage one. And it still has the lid, amazing. Have you seen what they're trying to sell aluminum foil for in the stores these days? Okay, I'm sorry, a shower drink holder? How long are we in our shower and are we not just drinking straight out of the tap? <laughs> straight out of the shower head? You never know what you're gonna find. And I always tell Alex, well, not always. He came with me the other day. Are these ink pads? Wow, that's a find and a half. He came with me the other day and he was picking stuff off the shelf. And I was like, I can't even see that stuff. Cause I'm so petite. <laughs> this is like Easter, it's coming up. Springtime, yes please, a dollar. They're selling that for like six bucks at Target. And, oh, an M&M dispenser? I feel like this is a need, not a want. Six dollars though? If it was three, I'd think about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I don't normally look up here. It's just a bunch of like office organizing stuff. This could be really helpful if you're organizing your life. Ooh, men's shirts. I should probably look through these, but I gotta find a cast iron skilly first. Okay, I came straight here. The cast, well, let's just look at the cast iron skillet. All right, do we see anything? Do we see anything? Last time I kind of hit the jackpot and I found two, like a really nice one. So I'll be okay if I don't find anything this time. Like how many cast iron skillies does one human being need? What is this down here? Charlie and Brown? Charlie and Brown. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, normally they're here. Oh, look at this. A nice large stock pot for only $12 with a lid. I'm gonna make some stock coming up. Ooh, this is the original Instant Pot. What are these called, pressure cookers? 60 bucks, $60? Yeah, $60 for that one. Hold the heck on, a fajita skillet. I don't have one of these. Does it come with a, the handle? A fajita skillet, a nine inch cast iron skillet. Yes, do I need it? Yes. All right, let's see, anything else? I'm kind of into like mini pans lately just for plating because you know, I'm a professional chef. Oh my gosh, this is the teeny tiniest little spring form pan I've ever seen. Oh, eh, different than what I thought it was. Ooh, this one looks really nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that one weighs like half of a pound and this one weighs, I don't know, 20 pounds, ooh, and there's the price difference right there. $50, what's the brand? Not all pans are created equal. This is a Chef's Never Burn stainless steel. It doesn't have a lid, but I don't know, that might not be important. Let me see, I feel like they have lids somewhere, just like random lids. Didn't you see any or are they up here? There's a crock pot insert. I need a crock pot lid. This thing's so heavy, I'm out of breath. This one, I think this is stainless steel too. This is Cuisinart, right, no it's not, that one weighs half of a half of a pound. All right, do I need this? <laughs> Am I making stock? Oh, here, here are the lids, I told you. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, first go, totally fits. I'm gonna keep on trying. I don't even know if I'm willing to spend $50 on this, but here I go, perfect. A lid for four bucks. This one feels nicer though. Nah, it doesn't fit. Here we go, nailed it. This one, it looks like it just matches a little bit better, you know? Happy I found a lid. I'm actually not sure if I'm happy about those finds or if my pocketbook is upset about it, but we'll find out when we go to check out, okay? Look, a mandolin, everyone's talking about these. Actually, everyone's talking about those choppers. Is this a chopper? No, that's a mandolin too. What in the heck is that gonna cut? A watermelon, I think? Ooh, this would be really nice for decorating. I don't do that. Do you remember the hydro flask craze? Now it's all about the, um, gosh, I don't even know what they're called. Oh, the stand stands. That's what it's all about now. The pink ones specifically. I mean, it's literally insane. I wouldn't fight someone over it, but I would be like, hey. Ooh, silicone cupcake liners. That's really nice. Ooh, a whisk. I'm partial to buying this just for the whisk inside. That looks like a nice one. All right, let's keep our eyes peeled for something interesting. Ooh, they put those on the Publix commercials every year. It makes me wanna buy them, but I don't use salt and pepper shakers. Is this a press? Hold on, what are we pressing with this? I saw someone the other day press something. It was a tortilla press. 
but they were pressing something else and it was genius. But now I forgot what it was. Chicken, chicken cutlets. This isn't big enough for that, but this would be a good for like a little empanada. Anyway, that's a nice whisk in there. How many whisks do we get in there for $8? <gasps> Kitchen shears too? Oh, that might have called my name. And skewers, wooden skewers. Those look a little thick. Okay, we've got measuring cups, shears, which is really nice. I feel like I would end up donating half of this. A couple of whisks in there. You know the best time to shop for clearance? Clearance? Christmas, I mean, is after Christmas. Like they have so much more Christmas items than what I saw before Christmas. Like a little camper right here. It's just so adorable. Oh, are these like life-size pilgrims? The pilgrim pair. I mean, I know I just decluttered all my Christmas stuff, but now I'm looking like, oh, well, maybe I could use some of this stuff. Oh, hold on a couple of things that I see. Eggs, tis the season, it's almost Easter. And then this little baby, cast iron Dutch oven. That's the brand, never heard of it. Parini, it's not even that heavy. Uh, and they're trying to sell it. Well, I guess it's $10 because red tag is half off, right? Oh, it's not what I thought it was. I'm looking for a jar to put my buttermilk in after I make all my homemade butter. And I found this, a sweets jar. I love this so much. It's $3. My sweets would not fit in there, but I do love it. I almost got this one, but the top is broken for my buttermilk. Ooh, how about this? Cause I'm making so much butter. I'm gonna need a huge jar like this for my buttermilk. I have one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I found one wide mouth and the top doesn't look rusted, which is good. I have been seeing people put all their fresh produce into mason jars like this and it just keeps them fresher longer so i'm gonna give that a go but um having a wide mouth jar really makes a difference trying to get them in and out i'm always looking for glass bowls too like the perfect size i feel like this is a really nice size how much are these it's red tag half off <laughs> i need to write it on my hand next time truly i don't remember i feel like 25 percent off if i thought real hard about it i might grab some more bowls i got a problem i mean i feel like that's pretty apparent this is the chopper my mom used to have remember when i told you the other day she would just chop the the walnuts up to make rum balls i'm really going backwards here this is the first time oh look seashells not that i need any okay first time i've seen a dw candle here much eight dollars what it's ten dollars at the store come on we can do better than that. Oh, it smells divine and it's never been burned. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> okay. I need some wrapping paper. I went through all of our Christmas wrapping paper, but I'm talking about birthday wrapping paper. I've never wrapped as many birthday gifts as I have the past few days. Days, couple weeks, really. I don't know what's in here. Surely there's gotta be some birthday. This could do birthday. Watch, I won't wrap another birthday gift for like a year. Oh, a little bunny. This is their seasonal section. I see some eggs down there, some decor with eggs on it, Santa Claus. There's a ton more. What does that spell out? Lots of Christmas stuff on these shelves. I'm just on my way, headed to the arts and crafts. Oh my goodness, look how sweet. She Paint supplies. I just put together a arts and crafts section, so I feel like I'm pretty stocked on supplies. But if I find a good deal, like a bunch of trumpets, what are we doing with those? Ooh, what are we organizing with this? Watches. All right, I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm out of breath. Jumbo chalk. It's $3. I feel like now's the time I can just get this. It's literally new. It's $3. Come on. I mean, like here, it's $3 too. Okay, you feel me? And then I found this Melissa and Doug soft shape colors. It's like a puzzle while you also work on colors. Thought this was really sweet. They're trying to get rid of it for a, a dollar. All right, I'll grab it. Like, do we really need more? Yeah, we do. I'm sifting through a bunch of shirts for Alex. They don't have a lot in his size, but I did find an arts and craft kit for next year Christmas, like an ornament making. It's like brand new, nothing's missing, it's crazy. Ooh, a kaboot. Ooh, you know what I was trying to look for? An old school. Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, it's the Dunkin' Donuts, that's fun. An old school thermos. I think I'm gonna start collecting them <laughs> for no good reason. Here's another Tupperware set. Oh my gosh, it's the whole set. I'm just perusing and I found this. 
Oh my gosh, it still has a tag on it. Do you know how much these are at the Disney parks? I'm not joking, 20, $25. Let me see, it's a misting fan, by the way, and it has a little lanyard on it. Who needs home goods when you have the thrift store? Well, I've ventured into the sweaters, I guess. This looks really nice. I don't know, it doesn't have a size anywhere. Looks pretty slouchy. The other day I found, ooh, that's really cute, a Fabletics jacket here. And I almost got it, but it just didn't feel right. I thought this was a salad spinner. It's the OXO brand. No, it, it, well, is it? I don't know, I can't tell. Either missing a piece, it is spinning inside. What do we do with this? Does OXO have like new technology where you just shake it or something? Or is this just a storage container for my fruit? It's definitely spinning on the inside. I don't know what to make of this. I almost got it, but then I'm like, it's probably missing it, but three bucks? I don't know. This is from Ikea. I found the actual salad spinner. This one's $6. This is like a heavy duty mandolin. Oh, it's KitchenAid. Oh, this is really cute. It's a little bowl set. It's one of a kind. I bet one of you at least has this. It's my destiny. Look what I just found in this little shower caddy. Eleanor's been asking for one, so I was just looking in the shower caddy. $3 cast iron skillet. It's a square one. How funny, I'll leave it out so maybe someone will see it. I'm in the boy section shopping for Wentworth. He needs some long sleeve shirts. And I found this raincoat, it is darling. I think it's more Meredith's size, not that she needs one. But check this brand, Janie and Jack, for $15. Five to six, I think it's even a little big for Meredith, but oh my gosh, what a find. Ooh, LL Bean too. Oh my gosh, I think he would love this. I think I'm gonna put the snowsuits back and just get like normal jackets. I think that makes the most sense. And I am also finding some snow gear. What are these called? Gloves? <laughs> oh, I am a Floridian and I know not. Something like this where I think, oh yeah, Wentworth would like that. Got cute little pockets. Like it looks, that looks fresh, right? But it's a size eight. No way that's gonna fit him. <laughs> but it might, it might fit him. He's so big. I guess I'll try, give it a try. Vests too. These are so fun. That's definitely way too big. I say that and then that's the same size. That's a size eight too. This is Gap Kids new with tags. Let's take a peek. 35 bucks they're selling it for 13 new 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 and this is a size small i don't know i don't i know nothing that's what i've come to the conclusion of man i'm actually crying someone took the pants off of these two-piece set 20 bucks unless it's supposed to just be the jacket i don't know everything here is like a two pieces so that makes sense by the way another two pajama set it's Hannah Anderson. I think that'll be great for the beach house. I mean, that just gives me beach house vibes. Summer vibes and all that good stuff. The Lizzie McGuire set I've been dreaming of. Man, a ton of Land's End stuff. These look great. I wish they had these in my size. Maybe I should go look in my size. <laughs> I could use some pajamas. Oh, look at all the fancy dresses too. This brand is really nice too. The Mango. It's either Nordstrom or Anthropology, one of those. That's real. Oh, this is really cute. Ooh, these are cute. This might be more of the red color that I'm looking for. It's not like a bright, bright red either. This is a casual corner brand and it's six dollars. They have a bunch of bathing suits out too for women that's on the other side. I'm not sure. Oh, are these jumpers, rompers? Whatever you want to call them. I feel like my bum would fall right out of most of those. I always like looking at the bathing suit cover ups. Never too early to shop for beach attire, especially in Florida. Last year, I feel like it was February and we went to the beach. That was our first trip. All right, well, nothing that catches my eye really. At one point, Lily Pulitzer was putting on like a 70% off site-wide sale. And so I had a bathing suit in my cart, but it sold out before I was able to check out. Oh, I wanted to cry. Maybe I'll find one here. I feel like I'm starting to be hungry. I usually disassociate while I'm thrifting. I'm down the dress aisle now, summer dresses. My eye went to this one and this brand, One State, it's just so gorgeous. And this one looks like it's new with tag. Unreal, why is no one buying this? It's so pretty. Maybe because it's not summertime and people just aren't thinking about it right now. All this velvet too. So cute, right? I think the pajamas are down this aisle. That's why I really wanted to come down here. I just need loungewear. Okay, I have found the unmentionables, so it's only a matter of time before I find the pajamas. And look at all this, oh my gosh, a velvet red Calvin Klein blazer. These are all the rage, by the way, these blazers. 
I'm not a huge fan of like the collar. Ugh, I feel like I'm struggling to breathe. Oh, this. This is the beauty I've been looking for. I Like, do I need a red jacket? But a purple blazer, maybe. Blazers are all the rage. Um, Get yourself, and that is gorgeous. I can't believe, $8. All right. Ooh, hot pink. Come on. Barbie core will be in forever and always. By the way, how did my cart end up looking like this? <laughs> how did this happen? You guys know how shapewear is like really expensive? They sell it here. What assets? That's one brand. I'm sure they have all kinds of brands here. If you are looking, I bought a slip off of Amazon. Why? I could have just bought it here. I didn't know they had all this. For the longest time, I could never find this aisle. I just overlooked it over and over again. Ooh, this has a lot of support up here. What brand is this? Yummy tummy? That'll definitely keep your tummy looking yummy. Look at all the bags up top too. Finally found the pajamas section. I'm not a huge fan of shorts. I used to be all about shorts, but now I'm like, eh, give me a capri. I don't want long pants either. I just want something basic. Just a capri, just a matching set. Ooh, this is a capri. I don't even know what's on that. Oh, a fish? It's right up my alley. I think they're my size. They look pretty flowy, but this was right behind it. Can you tell? Why are these all upside down? Oh, they're not. The flamingo, and they're like velvet. Last time I was here, I found a robe. I almost got it. I don't know who I thought I was or what I was thinking. Ooh, speaking of robes, I don't like that material though. Schnitzel von Krum. I really like this one too. Soma is speaking to me today. Ooh, this is like old school. Ooh, a Disney Snuggie. Oh, this is, it, this, see, this is too thick. It has to be Goldilocks style, just right. Like this is way too thin and silky. Not my vibe. This one's too long. This one's too thick. It's okay. That's too thick too. Ooh, I feel like this is exactly like what I have. And I don't like the sleeves hanging all around either. So I have to have short sleeves. <laughs> I'm oddly specific. Is this an old school Victoria's Secret set? Oh my gosh, look how sweet that is. Could you imagine? I don't think I would ever look this put together. Ooh, ooh, this is Ugg brand. I don't think it comes with bottoms, but it's a top. I feel like I'd wear this. I'm surprised at how many sets I'm seeing. Ooh, this is Ralph Lauren and these are definitely capris, but it's the feel of it. You know what I mean? I don't know what that fabric is, but I'm not into it. It's not doing it for me. Ooh, another Victoria's Secret. Ooh, -hoo. the best part about the pajama section is that it leads us right into the two piece sets. Check it. Valentine's Day outfit, check. Actually, what about this one? This one's gorge and it's a skirt. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Ooh, this is Calvin Klein. Ooh, these are like the fancy two-piece sets. Hold on, let's get some space here. I don't know these brands, but it has been a while since I have looked at some two-piece sets. Out the woman across the room, white. Oh, I feel like I'm getting closer to summer. Oh, then a sweater. Florals for spring. Evolutionary, what brand is this? Ooh, Banana Repub, but it's shorts. Oh, and it's a size zero. That's funny. Is this adobe? It's really nice. This pretty much screams summer, but totally not my vibe. Ooh, this is super cute. No, nothing hits like Good Hill two P. Good Hill, Goodwill two P sets. Good vibes by Ray Dunn. I didn't even know Ray Dunn did clothing. Someone definitely DIY that. All right, hold on. Ooh, is this it? Is this the clueless two-piece set of my dreams? It's so hard to find the tags. I feel like for $3, I need to buy this, right? I know it's not perfectly clueless, but it's basically, I mean, it's borderline. Ooh, just when I thought I was done with the two-piece sets, I found the perfect Guy Fieri two-piece set. And then sunflowers with shoulder pads. I really love this, but someone needs to tear me away from the sweater section. Oh, I found some gems. I'm on the hunt for a Liz McGuire sweater. I found the, I don't, what, oh, a clock? But then it has this. Does this just hang off of it this way? Funny. I found a couple that give me Lizzie vibes. Obviously not this first one, but this looks crazy comfortable. It's Gap Fit. And I don't know if I would enjoy this collar, but that's really nice. And then this one, 1000% homemade. Like look at the little tag on the back. They stitched a little heart. I just love that so much. Makes it so special. And then this one's really nice. I think that's a good like comfortable around the house one. So is this one. I love the colors. Oh, and this one. The brand is Moth. I don't know, I've never heard of it, but 
I just like the way that it looks. Finally found daisies. You guys, what year is it? Oh, I'm trying to, it's, the hanger is stuck on the tag so it won't move. Just Polly, New York. I am not a fringe gal. Oh man, I wish it didn't have fringe on it. But it's so stinking adorable. I'm gonna leave it behind, but I finally found some. And then, oh, I'm gonna regret not getting this number. Remember when I found that witch? It was so perfect and I didn't buy it. It was Halloween all the way. Don't, I don't know, Margo. I watched that once and that's enough for me. This Ann Taylor has some fringe, but I don't think it is on purpose. <laughs> oh my word, all of the baskets. What? This is more baskets than I've ever seen. I really like this rainbow one for $3. Hey, Easter's coming up. Grab your Easter baskets too. Look, this is the perfect, e look, it's literally an Easter bunny basket. Get them while it's hot. Let the fashion show begin. Sweater number one out of 1,000. I like the color of this. I think it's really sweet. I always regret wearing like higher shirts, but I, this is nice and loungy. Okay, well, who possessed me to put this in my cart? Who? I don't. I actually, what's on the sleeve? Oh, it's just a little ruchel on the sleeve. I actually love this. <laughs> Thank you if you convinced me to do it. It like fits at just the right spots and flares. I'm definitely not getting it. It's totally not me, but man, I feel like a woman. I found this one in the section where people just try stuff on. This is surprising me. It's super comfortable and not very constricting in this area where jumpsuits normally are. I don't know if it's too big up here. That's usually what happens to me. But I think it's pretty good. I don't even know how much it is. Six bucks for this piece of crap. Where am I going? The buckle makes it seem businessy. I'm just going to Costco. <laughs> now this one, I understand. Did I think I was JLo in that one movie? You know what movie I'm talking about? Where she's a maid, Made in Manhattan. One of the best movies ever made. I love this. Will I ever wear it? I don't know. I really didn't want to try these on, but I'm glad that I did. I've wanted purple leggings for forever. Finally got them. And they're Nike. And they're like, I don't know, five bucks. It's crazy. If you wait for something long enough, it'll definitely show up at the thrift store. Like these red pants. I mean, listen, you might think, wow, Kim, those are unflattering. But I'm just thinking about how comfortable they are and about how I'm gonna wear them all over the house. And they have pockets. It's a no brainer. And combined with the red jacket, I mean, I've really got an ensemble going here. Basically a tracksuit. Amazing. I did try to film myself trying on the rest of the stuff that I got, um, or, you know, that I picked up. And the mirror was taken. I'm a pupil pleaser, so I just, that's all I got. <laughs> and plus, most of the stuff was for my kids anyway, so I didn't have a ton to try on. Oh my word, a gem, you guys. I haven't filmed in like an hour. I was going through all the stuff. I called the kiddos to see, you know, if they liked what I picked out for them just to make sure. And I'm glad I did that. Ooh, that's a unique bag. Anyway, I blazed through this and I was like, wait a second. <gasps> I'm so glad I turned around. What? So, well, let me check the price. 13 bucks, not so bad, not so bad. It is a Lily Pulitzer bag. Eleanor is always asking for one. Like if she has stuff to cart back and forth to school. This is like the perfect size. Oh, it has an A on it. <laughs> hey, my middle initial is A. Oh, that could work. That's really funny. I didn't know it was embroidered. <laughs> you guys know I can't stay away from the reusable bag section. Oh, this one has an E on it. I don't think she'll care about, <laughs> about that. Reusable bags have me in a chokehold and I can't explain the reason behind it. That's a really cute purse. They just do. Like that one is so fun. I just like the fun ones. It makes grocery shopping more fun, I think. I'm waiting to find a Stroop waffle reusable bag because mine had it for so many years, starting to really poop out on me. This is a nice one. It has a Velcro closure and it's insulated. What a deal. And you know what the other, oh, oh I was just gonna say, the other store combines grocery bags. That's really nice. So a dollar a piece, essentially. You can't even get something this quality from the DT. I'm gonna do some tie-dyeing soon. And we recently went to Hobby Lobby to get some stuff to tie-dye, like shirts. But uh, their tote bags are way more than $2, I'll have you know. So I'm excited to find this one. And you know, I wasn't even really thinking because I could have come to the thrift store and gotten a bunch of white tops, white shorts, white bottoms, white anything, really white hats. And you could tie-dye those. 
What a great affordable thing to do. I just didn't even think about doing that. That's really cute too. Look, it has smiley faces on it. How could you not? Love it. I don't need a handbag, but is that Kate Spade? That's really sweet, 25 bucks. They always price this right. I do need a black purse, but I think that's too small. Today must have been the last day for that piece. It was right here. Ah. Oh my gosh, what year is it? What a trip. I need water. I need a food. This is from yesterday morning. Still cold. Probably also helps that it's uh, freezing outside. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and shopping with me. Don't forget to check out Thread Up. It is the best thrift store you're ever going to visit. Use my link in the description box below to get 40% off of your first order and free shipping. The code is the wads. Thread Up is amazing. And bonus, you don't have to completely exhaust yourself sifting through a ton of stuff in person. I hope you enjoyed it all. I'll see you next time. Bye.